Are we now going over museum pieces on this channel? No. Nah. This is still the workhorse after 20 years, the Valley Lab Force FX. So what's going on with this guy? Well, we're going to find out. It's starting to show its age. This butte right here, she was made back in the 90s. 20 some years old, still ticking, still a workhorse, but she needs a little bit of love. Stay tuned, right here on Better Biomed. So what is going on with this beautiful piece of history? Well, this guy right here. All the rest of this will probably be just fine, never give you problems, almost never need calibrating, but your return electrode monitoring can give you issues. If you look here, I've got a set of calibration keys that we made here in the shop. Some of them are verification keys. You can see I have 140 ohms, 135, I've got 130, 70, 10. But anyway, we'll get into that later. These are keys that I made myself and we put resistors in line, curved the cable back over, which makes a neat little loop so we can bind them all together. And to test these guys, you can either test the dual pad, which has got the little dingle hopper on the cord, or there's the single electrode which you can see right here with the 10. I plug in the 10, it's absolutely fine. You're supposed to be able to go to 135. You can see, I'm getting a red alarm. That one is actually 137 ohms. Let's see, where is my 130? Here's 130. Okay, 130 ohms, it should definitely be showing green. We're starting to see this trend with these units all over the place where they'll either go under the tolerance and they'll still show an alarm condition to which you will get callbacks on this exact device. And callbacks will just make everybody upset. So I'm gonna show you guys how to calibrate this unit right here using 10 ohm, 70 ohm, and 135 ohm resistors on this port. And we're also gonna use an oscilloscope. So let's go ahead and set that up now. The first thing we need to do is hook up the oscilloscope to the patient return electrode connector. You can see I've just got it coiled around and connected over to my, to my probe. Next thing we need to do is turn on the unit you can see the oscilloscope is finding a signal. All right, now the unit says 111. It's ready to be put into calibration mode. In order to do that, you're gonna hold down recall, pure, and desiccate, which is low. There you can see it says 11160. This is your programming mode. And we're gonna put it up on number four and you should see OP over in the coag. Now we are ready to do a calibration to the potentiometer, which you might be able to see at the base of the card right down there. I'm gonna flip it around so we can get a better view and we'll go ahead and calibrate. I don't know if you can see it too clearly on the video, but right over here is my frequency of the waveform. It's currently at 80.25 and you can see I've got a clear signal. And what they request us to do is to adjust this little resistor down here, this potentiometer, and the frequency should read round about 82 kilohertz. So in order to do that, we are currently in OP mode. I'm gonna stick my flathead screwdriver down on it. Be careful not to put any pressure down on the screw because putting pressure down on a potentiometer will change the value to a superficial level. So I'm currently on the screw, barely pressing down at all, and I'm gonna rotate that potentiometer. It's currently at 80.626 kilohertz, and I'm gonna spin this potentiometer.
and the waveform is actually going down, the amplitude of the wave. You can see that as the frequency goes up. So what we found recently is that there is a happy medium uh, between the amplitude of the wave, which is the height of the sine wave, and the frequency. And I found that if I get it around 81.3 to 80, 82 kilohertz, I usually will have a passing unit. So let's go ahead and let's check it out. I've got it set at 81.348. We're now ready to go ahead and start with our calibration keys. Here you can see the front control panel. You're going to disconnect your oscilloscope. And over here are your calibration levels. So you press the up key once and it should say 10. And what you're going to do is find a 10 ohm load and you're going to place it here in the calibration port or your patient return electrode port. I go ahead and let it sit there for about 10 seconds and then I press the up key. Now it's asking for 70 ohms. Here I've got a 70 ohm pre-made key. I'm going to plug it in, let it stabilize for about 10 seconds. Then I press the up key. Now it's asking for 135 ohms. Now let's see, here we go. 135 ohm key. Again, we let it set. And there we go. Press up and it saves your values. And here we are back at the home screen. We're on calibration four, which is your REM. In order to exit the calibration screen, shut the power off. Disconnect your 135 ohm key. Let's power the unit back on. Let's take a look. Okay, the first test I'm going to do is with the 10 ohm key. It does not have the little probe that tells it it's a dual pad. So what you should see is this should just go off. No alarms being shown. It just goes off. Then I'm going to jump up to 130 ohms with the little dongle on there. You see, before it was failing this test, now it's clearly showing green. We're good to go. Next, I tried the 135 ohm key. And it's good to go. Then we try the 140 ohm key and it should not pass. You can see immediately it recognizes it's over its preset limit, which is 135 ohms, goes immediately to red, and that would be a successful calibration. So that's calibrating the REM circuit on one of these old workhorses. Guys, I hope you liked the video. I know some of you have been asking for some more equipment related content. And this is something that we're starting to see much more often is REM circuits that are no longer within calibration. Hope you liked the video. Please give me a thumbs up. Please support the channel and recommend me to your friends. We're trying to grow this channel so I can get you even better content because believe it or not, biomeds just don't have very much representation out there and we're gonna change that. Thanks for watching guys.